Hello friends, this video on quadrilaterals part 9 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we have so seen so many conditions for a quadrilateral to be parallelogram. For example, if the diagonal bisect each other in a given quadrilateral, it is a parallelogram. If the opposite pairs of sides are equal in a quadrilateral, it is a parallelogram. If the opposite pairs of sides are parallel, in a quadrilateral, it is parallelogram, right? If each pair of opposite angles of a quadrilateral is single, equal, it is a parallelogram. So we have seen so many such properties of a parallelogram, or so many conditions for a quadrilateral to be parallelogram. Let's see few more condition for a quadrilateral to be a parallelogram. One condition is that if a pair of opposite sides is equal and parallel then that particular quadrilateral is parallelogram. For example, in this case, if AB is equal to CD and AB is parallel to CD, let me given, I can say given, AB is equal to CD and AB is parallel to CD. To prove ABCD is parallelogram. That is what we have to prove. This is a condition in fact. So in next question if you have a quadrilateral where uh, a pair of opposite sides are parallel and equal you can directly say that it is a parallelogram because this is the theorem we are going to prove it. Okay. So let's see A, B, C and C, D, A. So if we can prove these two triangles are congruent, actually we can prove that they are parallel. So let's just take this triangle. This is AC, this is CA, this is B and this is D. So let's take these two triangles and it is given that DC, DC is equal to AB, it is given. AC is equal to AC, common side, it is given. And AD and BC, there is nothing given about them. But yeah, angle CAB, CAB, this angle, and angle DCA, that is this angle, they are equal, that is given. So if you see these two triangles, they are congruent because side, angle, side, side, angle, side, the corresponding values are equal. These two triangles are congruent. If these two triangles are congruent, you can say that maybe DA is equal to BC. Correct? Or I can say that uh, this angle is equal to this angle that is ADC ADC this angle is equal to CBA CBA sorry BCA correct these two angles are equal you can say and these two angles are equal that means AD is parallel to BC AD is parallel to BC and AB is parallel to CD given then it is a parallel crime. easy to prove right so let's start this in triangle BAC and triangle DCA, okay, AB is equal to CD, that is given, angle BAC is equal to angle DCA, alternate angles, and AC is equal to CA, that is common side. Therefore, triangle BAC is congruent to triangle DCA. Since they are congruent, angle DAC is equal to angle BCA. Okay, but they are alternate angle. Therefore, AD is parallel to BC. Now AD is parallel to BC, AB is parallel to CD and using both these it implies that ABCD is parallelogram. Okay. Let's take one example. The question says ABCD is a parallelogram in which P and Q are midpoints of the opposite sides ABCD. So let's have this parallelogram and let's mark this point AB. CD. It says P and Q are midpoints of the opposite sides AB and CD. AB and CD are opposite sides. P 
P is the midpoint of AB and Q is the midpoint of CD. Okay, if AQ intersects DP at S, AQ, it intersects DP at S, okay, and BQ intersects CP at R, BQ, let's draw BQ. And this intersects CP at R. So we have to show that A P Q C A P C Q. Yeah, A P C Q. This one we need to prove that this is a parallelogram. Also, we have to prove that D P C Q D P B Q. Sorry, this is a parallelogram. And PQRS. What about PQRS? PQRS. All these four are parallelogram. That is what we have to prove. So what is given? Given ABCD is parallelogram. That is AB is parallel to CD and AD is parallel to BC. That is given. Also, since ABCD is a parallelogram, AB is equal to CD. And AD is equal to BC. We have seen that in the parallelogram, the opposite sides are equal and parallel. So now we have to prove APCQ is parallelogram. Now, if you see, if AB is equal to CD, that is given. If you divide both by two, AB by two is what AP, right? And CD by two is what CQ. See, AB by 2 is you can take PB also and AB also, but I'm taking AP and CQ by because I'm trying to prove AP CQ. So AP is equal to CQ. Okay. Also, AP is parallel to CQ. Why? Because AB is parallel to CD. So AP is also parallel to CQ, same line. Therefore, AP CQ is parallel. Similarly, if I have to prove the other one, this is done. B D P C Q, D P B Q is parallelogram. Same thing. I'll start. A B is equal to C D. I'll divide both by two. So here, D P C Q. So I'll take A B by two. I'll take P B here. And C D by two. I'll take D Q here. Right. So P B is equal to D Q, and also. PB is parallel to DQ, so which implies DPQC is or DPBQ is parallelogram. This is done. Now we have to prove PQSR is parallelogram. See in PQRS, see since we have proved these and these are parallelogram, I can say that SP is parallel to QR. Why? Because this PBQD is a parallelogram. Similarly, since AP CQ is a parallelogram, I can say that SQ is parallel to PR. Correct. So I can write here that SQ is parallel to PR and SP is parallel to QR. Therefore, PQRS is parallelogram because if opposite pair of pairs of sides are parallel, that means it is a parallelogram. And why SQ is parallel to PR? Because A, Q, C, P. This one is a parallelogram. Similarly, why S, P? Sorry, yeah. S, P is parallel to Q, R because P, B, Q, C, Q, D actually is a parallelogram. Okay. Let's take one more example. It says the angles of a quadrilateral are in the ratio 3, 5, 9, 13. We have to find all the angles of quadrilateral. So let's suppose this is a quadrilateral, this is 3x, this is 5x, this is 9x, and this is 13x. Because there is this ratio, I can assume this, this is 5, 3x, 5x, 9x, and 13x. So we know that the angle sum property of a parallelogram, if this is A, B, C, D, angle A plus angle B plus angle C plus angle D is what? 360 degrees. Sum of all the angles of a quadrilateral is 360 degree. Angle A is 3A. Angle A is 13x. B is 9x. C is 5x. 
these 3x is equal to 360 degree you solve this 19 plus 30 22 27 30 30 x is equal to 360 degree or x is equal to 12 degree since x is equal to 12 degree angle a is what 13 into 12 that is 156 degree angle b is what 9 into x that is 9 into 12 that is 108 degree angle c is what 5 into 12 that is 12 into 5 60 degree angle d is what 3x that is 3 into 12 that is 30 60 degree. so this is the angle of this triangle all the angles okay the diagonals of the parallelogram are equal we have to show it, it is a rectangle so let's first draw the diagonals of this parallelogram and let's name it a b c d so what is given given diagonals are equal that is a c is equal to b d right to prove what any of the angle let's say angle b is equal to 90 degree see if you take these two triangles this side is equal to this side anyway given right and this diagonal because diagonals are equal that is also given so we can actually show that these two triangles are congruent so let's take this d a b and the other b c b a so d a is equal to c b and d b is equal to c a and a b is the common side so these two triangles are congruent by sss rule so this angle will be equal to this angle right so this angle will be equal to this angle but some of these angle is what 190 degree correct because they are uh, two i mean a b a d is parallel to b c so they are interior angle on the same side if these two angles sum is 90 degree, 180 degree and they are equal that means both the angle is equal to 90 degree and thus it is a rectangle okay let's write in place plain english in triangle d a b and triangle c b a d a is equal to c b that is opposite side of parallelogram d b is equal to b d is equal to c a that is given a b is equal to a b that is common side or by construction therefore triangle d a b is congruent to triangle c b a by s s s rule therefore angle d a b is equal to angle c b a but angle d a b plus angle c b a this angle plus this angle is equal to 180 degree interior angles so i can just replace d a b with angle c b a plus angle c b a is equal to 180 degree or angle c b a is equal to 90 degree so if this angle is 90 degree that means it is a parallelogram because for par sorry it is a rectangle for it to be rectangle uh, definition of rectangle is, is a parallelogram with one angle 90 degree it is already mentioned it is a parallelogram and if you can just prove one angle to be 90 degree we can prove that it is a rectangle thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching